Hello everyone. So my name is Bridget and I make the glue babies and I am going to go through and show you the settings that you need to use in Canva in order to print and mix them and kind of walk you through that process just so everything is clear. And I reached out to mix them themselves to get this information and I hope that it is helpful to you all because sometimes it's hard to kind of track down information online. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you have your zine ready in Canva is to go into your settings and you're going to select show print bleed. It's going to add this extra area around all of your pages and you want to make sure that the color or images extend fully because this bleed line is where it's going to be trimmed off when it is printed. But in case there is like a printing error or issue, you want to make sure that there is a little bit of overlap there so that there is something um, to, you know, be there. And in this case, for example, there's this tiny bit of like white. So you can always select that and go into your background colors and then just fill in a matching background color because it's so far out of that trim. It's just kind of in case and in case type of situation. So once you have checked all of your bleed and trim, you're going to leave this up as is, and you are going to go into your share settings. So you're going to select share, and then you're going to go to download because you will be uploading this PDF. And then you're going to select the PDF print option, which is the best one for printing because you'll be printing a physical zine and you will select crop marks and bleed. So that's not automatically checked, but you will check that. And then leave these ones alone, all pages. And then the color profile that you will use is CMYK, which is the best for printing. The little crown means that it is Canva Pro. Um, and there is a free demo of Canva Pro that you can use. I would suggest completely making your zine the way that you want it to getting a free trial of Canva Pro, downloading it, and then canceling that promo if you don't want to pay for it. So that's one kind of workaround. You can use other programs, but Canva is just very user-friendly. And I know a lot of us, like myself, are very familiar with it. So those are the settings you're going to want to use to download. So PDF print, crop marks, and bleed. And you are going to use the CMYK color profile and then click download. It's going to take a little bit to download, so I have already done it. Then you're going to go to the Mixum website, and you're going to search for zine printing. And we're going to select that. And it'll load all the options here. And it's automatically going to be portrait. And my zine, if I look at the size of it, if you go into the file option, it's 5.8 by 8.3, which is going to be an A5 size. And I originally used that size because it's one of the sizes that is accessible for free in Canva. So select the size that you would like to use. There's a lot of options, but I will say that some of the more unusual options like 4.25 by 11, for example, you'll see one copy is $43 all of a sudden. But if you get 100 copies, then obviously it's way more affordable. So for some of these, if you know you want a really unusual aspect ratio, it would be a good idea to print a copy in black and white, see if you like it, and then you can take the leap. Or for myself, for example, I do sizes like a, um, let's see, like a eight and a half by eight and a half or a six, six by six, for example, is a normal, whoops, one is like 250 for one copy. But if I'd rather have it smaller, 4.75 square, you'll see one copy is $43. But if you do 100 copies, it's 137, where six by six would be 132. So it's pretty comparable. So if you want a smaller size and you know you're getting a higher quantity, you can always do your test print in one of the larger kind of more affordable sizes. But back to my A5 size. And the settings I use are color printing, portrait is already selected. 
satin text is our paper type is already selected. 80 pound is already selected. Those are the settings that I personally use. Staple binding. And my zine, if you'll notice here, is 44 pages. If you have a cover, whoops, you're going to deduct those pages. So I'm going to set this at a 40 page zine. And then I'm going to add a cover, which adds four printed pages. So you'll notice then the cost of one copy um, goes up. So the cover does add um, a good amount to the cost of the zine itself, especially if you only have one copy. So it goes from $5 to $7.50. But when you're printing larger quantities, it does not have as much of an impact um, on the cost. And it does look very nice. So I use a satin cover. I use the standard 100 pound cover weight, color printing, inner cover printing, which is why it adds four pages instead of two. And then you can use these lamination options. Soft touch lamination is what I use, and that does bring the price up to $9. But you can have um, no lamination, gloss, whatever you like, and it does impact the price. So every little thing that you add that's like a bonus does impact the price. Um, you can also add foiling and bundling is when they will shrink wrap each individual zine for you. Um, adding bundling does add a little bit to the cost as well, but then it would be shrink wrap, which is nice for um, books, for example. So you're going to go ahead when you are done and add that to the cart. Oh, since we use Canva, we're going to be uploading our own artwork, but just go ahead and play around with these and figure out whatever you like. So I'm going to pretend that I clicked add to cart. Um, and it'll confirm your address and all that, which is why mine is not here. And then you're going to go over to um, the next tab, which is going to be uploading your artwork. And you'll verify that it's however many copies, this is my reorder, however many pages, the internal um, pounds of the, the paper. So 80 pound text covers 100 pound satin with soft touch color throughout, et cetera, et cetera. So you can make sure, just double check all of your settings are correct there. And then you're going to select upload files. And then I'm going to go to my 1.4. You can see I've done a lot of drafts of this scene. And since we printed it with the crop and bleed marks showing, there's going to be a border around your artworks with a little um, tiny black lines in the corners to show the program where the printing should be. And then you're just going to go ahead and upload that PDF and it takes a little while to process it, but you will want to verify your pages. And if you would like me to show you how to actually create a zine in Canva itself, I am happy to do that. Just let me know. I've been making zines for a long time and I really enjoy just how easy Canva is to use, even though I really have a lot of nostalgia for like the classic print it out on paper, cut it up, glue it together, you know, scan it or photocopy it fold it by hand, assemble it by hand, but I've made, you know, enough scenes that way that I really love the ability to make these really beautiful full color zines and have a company assemble them. So that's going to be processing for a moment. It says up to 15 minutes, but luckily it did not take that long. So next it's going to show you the bleed box, the trim box, the inner quiet area, et cetera, cover hinge and spine. And if you have a book that you're printing, you'll need the spine setting. So basically what's going to happen is the green line is going to be where they actually cut the paper. The blue line is to make sure um, that in case it's off by a millimeter or so that there's still image. So you wanna make sure that your image is within that blue line, but the green line is where they're actually going to be cutting the paper. So you're gonna just go ahead and review all of your artworks to make sure that they um, can actually be trimmed correctly. And if anything is wrong, you can re-upload. You can also move your pages around here if you need to, which is really nice um, and a helpful feature that they have. So if you're looking at it now that it's sorted into sets of pages, because in Canva, the most you can do is kind of look at it in a grid. And the grid won't exactly show you how they're paired up together. So this is the inner cover and the first page. So they're a pair and these two are a pair, these two are a pair, but then here, this one's paired with the page on the next line. So it's a little harder to see, but you'll be able to review it here in actual pairs, how it will look when it's being held. 
So if you like all of that, you can go ahead and continue the process. And then I have a warning. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's just um, like an issue with resolution for one thing, but I've printed this before, so I know that it's fine. So next you'll go into messages. And if you're only printing one copy and you know that you're going to be printing multiples, you can go ahead and tell them I'm going to print 25 to however many copies of this. Um, this is just a test print and they will print it on a different type of printer for you. That will be the one because they have offset and digital. And so they'll use it for on the correct printing machine, basically, if they know that this is a test print for a large run. So that is my information on how to use Canva and mix them together to do your art scenes. And I hope that you all find this helpful. And thank you for listening.